My name is Savrish Nyanamurthy. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Toronto and I'm super passionate about virtual and augmented reality. And augmented and virtual reality are the next step for smartphones and how humans interact overall. And I thought it would be a great time to get into this space and start learning how I can start building real world applications for that that aren't gaming or marketing, entertainment or advertising. So I got started with virtual and augmented reality through the Knowledge Society, which is a human accelerator program for high school students that's designed to build exceptional people to solve some of the world's most important problems. And I wanted to build my own game for a headset as soon as I could so I could start getting into the industry. So I reached out to Microsoft and they sponsored me to start developing for their headset, which is the HoloLens. And through, there, uh, through that, I got started and from there it just went up. So my startup is Waypoint AR. It's an indoor navigation platform that uses augmented reality and computer vision, which is a section of artificial intelligence to make navigation a lot more intuitive. Uh, different companies have been working on navigation for years now in terms of outdoor navigation for pedestrians, cars, uh, public transit, but nothing's really been built that is very effective for indoor locations. And that's what I'm building right now and allowing for people to navigate within airports, university campuses, museums, malls, complexes in a much more intuitive way. Uh, we're all interacting in these 2D in this 2D screen where we take a picture, send it to each other. But the next step is obviously to go 3D and to allow for us to interact as if we were right in front of each other and create that experience. And that is the obvious next step, which is why VR and AR are so important in the future uh, because we need to uh, move away from what our smartphones is right now, which is an interference in our lives ra rather than an integration. In the future, uh, I think uh, virtual and augmented reality is gonna become for sure the next biggest tech all around our world. Uh, a lot of companies like Facebook, Google, Apple, Microsoft are all investing a lot of money into these industries. And it's so obvious that this is gonna become one of the next biggest technologies in our world. And I think there are a few problems with the technology right now is what we need to solve before we get it to consumers. Obviously these headsets are really big and hard for users to use, which is what is making it hard for mass adoption. But as we're able to miniaturize these and also create a lot more function for these technologies, it will become really easy for consumers to adopt this technology and really integrate it into their lives. Other companies like Apple, Snapchat, Google have all been supporting me. Uh, Snapchat, I uh, worked on a few things with them in actually building uh, building things with their uh, lenses that they recently released, as well as Apple and Google as well, yeah. So it's a really awesome experience to be one of the, after I got named, one of the top 10 VR influencers to be following in 2018 and being able to talk to a lot of people in the field and have a lot of knowledge so I can start teaching people who are in other businesses on how they can start integrating VR and AR, as well as teaching high school students about how they can start getting involved in this industry as well. So where I see myself in five to 10 years is uh, solving real world problems with VR and AR. Right now I'm solving something really small with Waypoint AR, but this is just like my first step, my first milestone in the industry to start building something a lot bigger that can impact millions and millions of people and uh, allow for them to live in a, a much better way.